Welcome to another free and open source game review video. These games are 2D side-scrolling games, and they are Bard's Lesson, Secret Mario Chronicles, Hexoshi, Supertux, and Xmoto. These are all 100% free and open source, which means the code to modify them and to inspect and see what's going on with the software is completely transparent and open. So I encourage you to download these. These are running on Windows. They also run on uh, Linux and Mac in some cases. And so let's dive right into this first game, Bard's Lesson. This is actually an educational game teaching music skills. So it's a 2D game, but you also, as you traverse, you're learning um, about musical notes, different pitches, and different timing of notes. So what's really cool, and the reason I've included this game, is that it's still in active development and in the early stages as of 2018. So if you want to get involved, you can help contribute the artwork, the music, or if you can do some development on it, on the code, um, feel free to get involved with that. This next game is Super Mario Chronicles. Not to be confused with Mario, it's M-A-R-Y-O. It's, as you can see, it's inspired by the NES and SNES version of Super Mario Brothers. So very similar gameplay. Uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Different levels, different looks. Also an open source project that you can get involved in uh, and contribute to. Don't die. This next game, Hexoshi, is going to be similar to Metroid and Super Metroid on the NES and SNES systems. Um, really cool game. I had to include this one because I love the old school Metroid games. So you just go around on this planet and you collect different items and try and destroy. Uh, here's a, the map view. You try and just fight against different guys. There's even Metroid type looking enemies on here. It's got a pretty cool soundtrack and pretty cool 8-bit graphics, I think. So it's a fun one to check out. The next game is Super Tux. This game is also a similar game to Super Mario Brothers. And so you go around, you collect little coins, you can get bigger or smaller. Um, it's kind of unique. So Tux is the main character instead of Mario in this one. Uh, so like Tux, like the Linux mascot. And uh, you've got some different combinations of tricks you can do besides um, just running and jumping. This is like the ending screen, which is like very original, not copied at all from Super Mario Brothers. You can grab the, fi the flower, it lets you shoot fireballs. Also super original, not at all a copy of Mario Brothers, as you can tell. But a fun game. And the last game, X Moto. This is kind of a different game. This is one of those ones where you ride this bike around and you try to not hit your head or die. Um, this game is pretty addicting and can be a lot of fun. There's similar games on like mobile apps as well. Uh, and there's some browser based games like this as well. But anyway, this is a, a fun platform game that you can play and just spend hours trying to, ah, trying to get through without dying. You got some different challenges here, but pretty fun. And also open source again, so you can actually contribute and improve this game. Uh, whether you're improving the audio or you want to design your own levels. Oh, I forgot to say, um, a, lot, a couple of these games that we've looked at actually have map editors built into them, like the Mario games. You can, you can build your own maps. Pretty fun stuff. So those are the games I wanted to show you in this video. Appreciate you watching. Go ahead and download these and try them out. Maybe you'll find something that you really enjoy. And as always, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, leave your questions or suggestions for videos you'd like me to make in the future, and I'll see you in the next video.